Oscar Valdez has, has expressed interest in, in unifying or fighting. You know, I would love, I would love that. Like I said, people, most people already know I have plans moving up at least. But if that fight's available and they, and they want that fight, let's make it happen. WBO champ Jamal Herron had a better showing this time around, and he did Carl Frampton a big favor. He helped him retire. Heron came into this fight and used all his physical advantages over Carl Frampton. He's tall for the division, he's 5'10", had a 70-inch reach, and he fought tall, which made Carl Frampton have to come in and take some risk. And when he came in and took some risk, and that's when he got clipped. Herring hurt Frampton numerous times in this fight. The first knockdown caught him with a straight left coming in. The second one caught him with a beautiful uppercut. And that basically was the end of the fight, stopping Frampton with a sixth round TKO. Now after the fight, Jamal Herring says he was about to move up, but Oscar Valdez wants to unify with him and he's down with that. Now this should be an easy fight to make. It'd be an in-house fight. No PBC, no Golden Boy involved. It's all top rank. These two guys should have no problem making this fight, and I would like to see it. Now, in this fight, if it happens, Jamal Herring will come with a four inch reach advantage and also four inches in height. Oscar Valdez is 5'6, but Oscar Valdez is in his prime, undefeated fighter, the best trainer in the business, and he's coming off a of destruction of Miguel Bruchelt. Like I said, if both fighters want it, it should be no problem making this fight. One of the easier fights that Bob Arum can make. We will see what happens. Yeah, I think Anthony Joshua's like Humpty Dumpty, sitting on the wall. But when he falls off, he smashes a million bits and no one can put him all back together again. Because once a fight like that, his confidence has been dashed. The many looks of Tyson Fury. You know, one week we're getting a picture of him coming out the water, looks overweight. And I'm thinking, he's gonna go into this fight with Joshua and fight him the same way as Wilder. That would be suicide for Fury because Joshua has a better arsenal than Wilder. By the way, the arbitration between Fury and Wilder is still ongoing. And then you look at the other photo, which a lot of people thought was Photoshop. Fury looks in prime shape. And that's the one I believe is the real photo when he's in prime shape because I don't believe anything Tyson Fury says. He's talking about talking about drinking again and all that. He's been working out since the pandemic with his wife. I'd be very shocked if we see the Tyson Fury that Wilder fought at 270. Matter of fact, I expect to see the same weight, around the same weight that he weighed against Klitschko, around the 240, 246 range. Because I believe Tyson Fury is gonna go in there and try to outbox Joshua. He's not gonna have the same tactics that he used against Wilder because everybody knew Wilder was a one-dimensional fighter, couldn't fight off the back foot, and Fury and Sugar came with an excellent game plan. Plus, Wilder's light for a heavyweight, so he put on some extra pounds and they applied pressure. And Wilder cannot fight backwards. That fight let Wilder confused, beat up, and he really exposed them and Wilder has not recovered mentally from that. Anthony Joshua is a different fighter. He's not gonna be able to bully him around. He's bigger than Wilder physically. He uses a jab more and he has an arsenal of punches like I said before. He doesn't have the straight right hand. He got the uppercut, the left hook. In his fight with Fury, I think Joshua will attempt to go to Fury's body. Fury could afford to come in at 270 against Wilder because Wilder does not throw body shots. Against Joshua, I expect Fury to be more firm down there and also in shape so he can move. He's planning to do Joshua just like he did Klitschko. Unless it is really photoshopped, then it throws my theory out the window. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.